Hey everybody and welcome back to Farm Boys Garage and today we're back working on this 2006 Ford Taurus. I finally got it back. I had it loaned out to my sister-in-law for the last three years and she finally got her vehicle so she gave it back to me. Then we got some issues. Uh, give you a quick rundown of what I've done in the last three years since I've had it. Replace the coil, the wires, the plugs, the computer, the alternator, the power steering pump. I tried to replace the air compressor, uh, the air conditioning compressor. I put a new one on here, and at the time, the, the lower hose wasn't right. It was cut, so they ran the new one without anything, and it ended up eating the bearing up. So what's wrong with it right now is it's got a leak right here on the high pressure power steering hose, right in that joint there. This power steering pump has been run without fluid so we're going to change it out we're also going to change out the air uh, air ac compressor the ac condenser and there should be a new lower hose on here i think they are so to get the ac compressor out we really need to come out this away so we need to remove the fans we need to remove this high pressure hose, which is going to have to be replaced anyway. I don't know how much I'm going to film of this. It's a little bit breezy out here today. But the main thing is we got to get this hose off. Since I'm having to replace this hose anyway, I'm going to replace this pump. I'm going to go ahead and pull the hose first. It's pretty easy to get to right here at the pump. Just one little nut there. But on the back side, you can get your hand back in here. It kind of toggles around goes way back in there. I don't know if I'll be able to show you. This is the hose connection right back here where my finger is. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. And uh, you can't get your fingers hand back there, so I'm hoping that won't be too hard to get out. There's one bracket right here, and there's another little bracket right there. Take those loose and pull it off. To get this power steering pump off, we've got to move the world, all right? So this tank's got to come out. This bracket's got to come off. There's a bunch of bolts that's really hard to get to with this tank on here. So what I've done, and I recommend anybody working on their, their own car to do, and so, so does Steve Rob, is get you a factory manual and I don't think this covers everything but it should at least cover what I need steering system uh, climate control I've got some issues with the climate control system uh, the, the damper actuators are not working and let's see engine cooling system all right, so the first thing we're going to do is take off that hose. But I, I do recommend highly buying a factory manual. And I got this off eBay. I want to say it was about 40, 50 or 60 bucks. You can see how thick it is. I mean, it's, that's at least two inches thick. I've also got the wiring diagrams. I've already bought those, but hopefully we won't need those. So the first thing we're going to do is get this high pressure hose off. And then we're going to work towards getting this pump off. Take the belt off, pull this off, uh, remove this. When I get to the part where it's kind of be difficult, I'll bring you back. But uh, most of it looks like it's going to be pretty much just hand tools getting to it. Okay, so the, the pressure hose is off 18 millimeter on both ends. You actually have three brackets. Of course, I showed you that one, that one. And then there's one little bastard way down in there with an 8 millimeter headed bolt. This one. It's kind of hard to get to. Uh, you might need a swivel, but I was able to get it without one. Fish the hose out. I don't need to move uh, this fuse box out. Pretty sure we can just take her and you know bend these in right here on both sides and get these out. Just grab one side, push that tab back, and then grab the other side and push that tab back. barely release it and then they'll both come 
we can lay that to the side out of the way. And it's a good time also to check your wiring, make sure there's no frayed uh, wires or burnt wires. The uh, conduit's about gone off this thing. But uh, of this power wire, it looks pretty good. And to get the fans off, it's just a bolt here and a bolt here, and they'll come out. First, we're going to go ahead and unplug them. Uh, one of these, this bolt here in the middle bracket, that's a 11 millimeter head bolt, but most of them's going to be pretty standard, either 8 or 10 or uh, 18. And these, these lift out pretty easy. Actually, you do need to remove the box, but once you get them two screws out, they'll come right out. It's a little bit harder to get them in. See, they got tabs here and here that sit in there. The boat will come out though, so don't lose the boat. And that gives us a lot of room here. Now we can easily get drop this AC compressor down, part of the uh, go under the O2 sensor and bring it right here and up. May have to move some of this wire out of the way, but just to give you a little more room. Since this AC system is, there's no, uh, nothing in it. We just pull this clip right here. And these just pretty much just pop in, just wiggle it. I think, well, maybe it's, maybe it's got a quick release on it. I think it's just O-rings. Yeah, it's just O-rings. It's just three O-rings that holds this in. When we get ready, we'll go ahead and take it off the AC compressor. Pull the bottom hose. This all comes out at one as one unit looks like. All right, so I got the uh, AC hoses off, and I'm pretty sure that it actually this kit I can't, uh, bought came with the the new dryer. Well, actually, it's probably this part right here. All right, so I'm getting ready to take the belt off. And I noticed, I looked around and there's no belt routing diagram on this car. So I always go ahead and make you a belt routing diagram because it's a lot easier going back with it. So there's the alternator, water pump, pulley, power steering, AC, crank, and tensioner. And then I got this belt removal tool here. It's 15 millimeter, takes this one off. Put it on the tensioner bolt right here. Go forward with it, release tension off the, uh, I think you go forward with this thing. So. Yeah, so going forward releases tension off the belt and we can take it off the alternator real easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the belt off. I'm gonna take this alternator off and then we'll work on getting this stuff right here out. I can already go ahead and get the, the AC compressor off right now four bolts bolted in it's really simple but it is nasty and i want to go ahead and work on this mess because that'd be the easiest thing to get off all right everybody i got the condenser out i guess i should have read i was reading about how to take the radiator out but i should have been reading how to take the condenser out because you do not have to remove the radiator to remove the condenser these things drop right out the bottom but you do have to remove the grill and there's, there'll be a bolt on each side up here that you'll take out. That'd be the, the uh, bolt that goes in the upper condenser. There's also some side shields, some air deflectors. And to get those out right behind here, you can see the hole right there. Just stick you, stick you uh, you know, cat's claws behind here on each side. Pop that one, pop that one. The other bolt for the upper core be here. Then on the bottom, you'll have to take the wind deflector off this part right here. On the bottom, there'll be another push pin. This is the right hand side one. And I broke it because I was a dumbass. So on the top, 
the one you'll remove would be this one and the bottom is this one so don't don't break it off make sure you're on the pin and then there's two bottom bolts on the driver's side one holds the bracket on for this tube up under here and then there's another bolt on the bottom of the passenger side that holds the bracket on and that's the only bolt you'll have to remove on the passenger side of course you'll have to remove the AC hoses and the you know it's a stud with a bolt and there it is and you have to cut this tie to get it out but it'll drop right out I don't know what's wrong with it but apparently it's leaking somewhere and uh, it looks like it's seen better days for sure this thing was running a little hot with her one time I don't think it overheated but it was running low on coolant so I did want to check the radiator and make sure that it was okay I don't see any signs of uh, greenness or leakage other than it's just wet from where I, I popped this upper radiator hose loose and that was a pain to get there and then after I did that I'm like this bottom radiator hose has got another hose running to it I think it runs up to the tank here so I decided I would see if perhaps I could get the heater of the denser out without the radiator and of course I can the radiator is filthy there's another hose I'm going to have to replace this return power steering line that runs kind of up under the transaxle here. It comes out right there. You can see part of it runs over. I think that's what actually runs into this tube right here. So I need, I'm going to replace it from this tube all the way over to the box because it's pieced together and it blew out one day. So I've got that. I think my AC hoses will be fine. I'm gonna have to I'm replace this accumulator. To get this accumulator off, I believe is gonna be a really pain in the butt. I'm gonna have to do a little research on that. But it goes way on back there. And I think I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to take this dog bone off this bracket to get access back in there like I did when I had to replace that computer which is way back there so I think that's going to do it for today tomorrow I'll get on this part here we'll get the power steering the alternator and the AC compressor off we'll get this hose out and replace it put the uh, AC condenser in the new AC compressor and all that get everything hooked up and i don't know if i'll have time to finish it tomorrow but anyway this is going to do it for part one hope it wasn't uh, jumping around on you too bad and appreciate y'all watching and uh, please rate comment subscribe if you haven't